I've shown you how to connect your MacBook Apple Silicon laptops to four monitors previously, and since then, my inbox has been blowing up with companies sending me docs to try and see if their product is going to replace my existing setup. How's it going, everybody? My name is J.I. I make videos on the technology in our lives and how we can use it to make our lives easier. I've previously made videos on hooking up multiple monitors to Apple Silicon MacBooks. As you might know, multiple independent displays through one port is nearly impossible with an ordinary dock. My previous methods and dock reviews are still valid, you can check them out in the description down below, but if you're looking to hook up multiple displays to your MacBook and want the best dock that you can currently get, well, you're in luck. This will be your all-in-one powerhouse. Look no further. It's 2024 and these types of docks have changed dramatically over the past year. BenQ is the latest company to have reached out and given me the opportunity to see if their dock can replace previous docks I've used. I'm ready to give the BenQ B Creatus a shot. And by the way, everything I talk about will be linked in the description down below. First, let's talk about what we have in the box. A quick start guide, a warranty card, and of course the dock itself. Design wise, I think this dock is beautifully crafted. If you're looking for something that is aesthetically pleasing on your desk, well, you can't go wrong with this option. We also have the USB-C cable. It's important to remember, not any old USB-C will work with docks like these. You need really high quality ones like the ones that are included with your dock. Next, we have a high quality HDMI 2.1 8K certified cable, and finally, the power cord and massive power brick. This adapter size is normal for a dock like this, as it powers everything that's connecting to your laptop. So I would actually be worried if it was any smaller. Because I have my Tobin 1 dock connected, I'm simply just going to disconnect all of the peripherals and hook them up to the dock, but I'll show you what we have connection wise on the dock so you know what you're getting. On the front, we have the power button. Now don't mistake this for a knob like I did, an indicator LED, two super fast USB-A ports that can charge at 7.5 watts, and above that, we got a 36 watt USB-C port and a headphone jack. All three ports have maximum transfer speeds of 10 gigabits per second. On the back, we have our power in port. Next to that, our USB-C port that comes from the laptop. It has a power delivery of 100 watts, so it can easily charge your laptop without needing another cable. I'll get to the displays in a second, but we also have a gigabit ethernet port, a USB-A fast charging port, and finally, two USB-A ports for low power devices like mice or keyboards. All right, let's touch on these displays. So the unique part about this dock is you can have up to two separate inputs for your display setup. Why would you ever need this? Say you have a gaming console or two computers that you wanted to hook up. Well, with this dock, that is not a problem. However, keep in mind if you have a dual or triple monitor setup, your secondary input, like a gaming console, will only be able to output to one display. But the upside is that it can support up to 8K 60Hz or 4K 120Hz. That's a lot of hertz on one screen. If you had a dual or a triple monitor setup, you can still output to all displays at 4K 60Hz for one input device and 4K or 8K from the other device. There's an easy to read chart on BenQ's site that outlines the configurations that are supported. What do I think about the design? Well, I'm overly impressed. The aluminum shell and grill design make it literally the coolest dock that I've run. One thing I do wish it had was an SD and a micro SD slot like the Tobin one. That's hardly a deal breaker though, as I can easily add an adapter to the USB port on the front. And if you have a newer MacBook like myself, you already have an SD card included on the laptop. Now, based on the rubber feet, it looks like this dock was meant to sit horizontally on your desk, but it is also capable of easily standing vertical if needed. I like to keep it horizontal so it grips easily though. After hooking up the dock, everything works fluid and as it should. Switching between inputs like my two MacBooks is simple with the press of the front button. Operation between multiple monitors is extremely smooth, but here's something and it's really important. If you're ever running multiple monitors on a Mac from a single docking station using a single cable, you absolutely need to install the display link drivers that are available online. Only then can you have multiple monitors like I have here. 
So what do I think of the BenQ Creatus? Well, this is a solid piece of tech that will be perfect for any workstation setup. Hey, if you like this review and you're thinking of picking it up, I've included a link in the description to get the best price on Amazon. Using that link will also help me make better content for you all. I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions about it, just drop it down below. I'll be able to answer them for you. Until next time, my name is J.I., thank you for watching, and thank you for kicking it with me.